In Jorge Amado's The Two Deaths of Quincas Wateryell, the narrative unfolds in a vibrant Brazilian setting, delving into themes of freedom, societal expectations, and the individual's quest for authenticity. Quincas Wateryell, the protagonist, is a former bureaucrat turned eccentric drifter whose life and death symbolize a rebellion against the constraints of conventional society. Quinn Cass, whose real name is Joaquim Sors de Cunha, initially embodies the role of a respected civil servant, adhering to societal norms and expectations. However, disillusioned by the constraints of this life, he abandons his position to embrace a life of freedom and indulgence, becoming a wanderer in the streets of Salvador. His transformation from a respectable citizen to a figure of ridicule and defiance is central to the novel, reflecting Amato's exploration of the tension between societal expectations and personal freedom. The narrative structure is notably unique, depicting Quincus's two metaphorical deaths, which serve as pivotal moments in the story. The first death occurs when Quincus's physical body is presumed dead, an event that triggers a series of reflections and revelations about his life and relationships. The second death is symbolic, representing the ultimate release of Quincas from societal constraints and his full embrace of his true self. This duality in his deaths highlights Amato's commentary on the nature of existence and the often superficial judgments placed on individuals by society. Amato's portrayal of Quincas is deeply ironic and rich with social commentary. Through Quincas's character, the author critiques the rigid social structures and expectations that govern Brazilian society. Quincas's apparent descent into chaos and debauchery is juxtaposed with his earlier, more orderly life, challenging the reader to question the true nature of morality and the value of conformity. His defiant lifestyle is not merely a rejection of societal norms but also a profound statement on personal freedom and authenticity. The setting of Salvador plays a crucial role in the novel, acting as both a backdrop and a character in its own right. The vibrant, chaotic atmosphere of the city mirrors Quincas's tumultuous life, reinforcing the themes of freedom and rebellion. Amado's descriptive language vividly captures the essence of Salvador, enhancing the reader's immersion in the story and deepening the novel's exploration of cultural and social dynamics. The secondary characters, particularly Quincas's family and friends, further enrich the narrative. They serve as foils to Quincas, representing various facets of societal expectations and norms. Their interactions with Quincas, especially their reactions to his unconventional lifestyle and subsequent death, illuminate the broader societal attitudes towards nonconformity and personal freedom. Amato's use of humor and satire adds a layer of complexity to the novel, allowing for a nuanced exploration of serious themes. The comedic elements serve to highlight the absurdities of societal expectations while simultaneously endearing Quincas to the reader. This blend of humor and pathos ensures that the novel remains engaging while prompting deeper reflection on its themes. Ultimately, the Two Deaths of Quincas Wateryell is a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of identity, freedom, and societal expectations. Through the character of Quincas, Jorge Amado challenges readers to reconsider their own perceptions of conformity and individuality. The novel's rich, descriptive prose and vibrant setting create a compelling narrative that continues to resonate with readers, inviting them to reflect on the nature of existence and the true meaning of freedom.